Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online at the La Beach Hotel. Now, uh, this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with this word, uh, anointing with no intelligence. Anointing with no intelligence. And you know something, I am, my mind is sometimes uh, baffled that you know you can be anointed but you may not have the you may lack the commensurate intelligence to be able to handle that anointing remember this is what paul said in in first uh, uh corinthians chapter chapter uh 12. he said brethren concerning spiritual gifts i will not have you ignorant that word ignorant there meant three things number one uh i don't want you to be i want you to have information number two i want you to um have the intelligence to handle that information I'm giving to you. And then number three, I want you to inspire others even as you are inspired. So information, intelligence, and inspiration. But the way I want to come this morning is a picture of a man called Samson. Everybody blasts Samson. Yeah, sometimes I blast him. But sometimes too, there are things that he has done that really, I mean, uh, makes me very fixated with him. And, wow, Samson, you know. But there's something that, this thing. No doubt in my mind that Samson was anointed. My goodness, even in his mother's womb. Samson was so anointed that even when he goes to, he goes to, um, he goes to a village and the, to go for a prostitute and the, and the village lock him up. You know, he, he, when he comes out and realizes that he had been caged in the place, if I were Samson, then I would go into a long story, uh, uh, praying to God for forgiveness, kneeling down, you get it, and wearing sackcloth and ashes in repentance. But Samson, with a shrug of the shoulder, like, oh, no, and you get it, with that shrug of the shoulders, he just walks to the gate, collects the gate, and collects the pillars and the beams, and then walks away from the town. My goodness, you know, this guy was so anointed. But there comes a time in Samson's life, you wonder whether he has the intelligence to handle the anointing that he had. It looks to me that he didn't even have the intelligence. Look at it there, careful. There's a woman called Delilah, and that Delilah is in the life of Samson. And I'm talking of judges, Samson, the one in the judges. And Samson, now, the woman, having set Samson up, you know, and the Philistines, bribe the woman and they and they tell her what they can do for her and the woman decides to sell Samson and her name Delilah you know that's what she was who she was now then she begins to ask Samson very intimate questions the source of his power he was asking Samson intimate questions the source of his power and he was asking Samson What's the source of your power? Where is the source of your strength? What is the source of this great gift that God has given to you? Where is the anointing coming from? Where is it coming from? And you know, Samson, um, the Bible says Samson misleads her the first time and tells her a different story. And she went and betrayed him and did exactly what Samson, and people, the Philistines attacked Samson. First betrayal. Then she comes back to Samson again and asks Samson, you're not telling me the truth, and then cries and all those things, and then tells Samson that, look, please give me the secret, give me your secret. And then Samson gives her the second information, and she betrays him. What more do you need to understand? What more do you need to know that this person will betray you? What more do you need to know that this person is going to sell you? What more do you need? And that was Samson's this thing. Now, when she comes and cries, and of course, she has something said in her bosom. And surely, I'm sure rubbing his hair and, you know, making him feel good. He said he's in her bosom. So, you know, and then the woman asks, what is your secret? And then he gives out his secret. Oh, wow. And then she betrayed him. She had betrayed him once. She had betrayed him twice. And he still went ahead. So here is something. He's so anointed, but he's not intelligent. He's not thinking. He's not thinking. So you can have oil upon your life, but forgive my, my word, you're stupid. You don't think. You don't use your sanctified common sense. You, you get it? You don't use, you're, you're not observant, you're not vigilant, you're not watchful. Because once, betrayed once, betrayed twice, 
Samson doesn't need a prophet. Samson doesn't need a revelation to know I can't trust this woman. But he's so anointed. And he lacks the intelligence to handle that anointing. Yeah. Be filled with the Spirit. Be anointed. But be wise. Because sometimes you can be anointed, but you're stupid. You lack the intelligence to even handle the anointing that you have. Sorry if it hurts your feelings, but it's the truth. See you later.